Hey guys, welcome back to another Anime World Tower Defense video. So, this isn't my usual video where I just show my progress in the game, evolving characters and showing an infograph on what their, their stats, placements, and all that. It's mainly just informative on what to prepare for for the anniversary that is currently coming soon and on things that are out right now in the game. So, the thing that has popped up in front of you is my damage predictions that you'll need to get for each character. Well, not for each character, but for each rarity, to be exact. So, starting off with the comments that uh, was shown in the trailer, which was Full Bring Ichigo. So, I'll show an image of Full Bring Ichigo, what he looks like, and then the image of his possible evolution, or his evolution, to be exact. But he is just going to be a plus from the looks of it, since I didn't see two instances of him. I could be wrong wrong but i am just saying this out of my ass and don't have a script so could be possible that he could have a plus plus because remember they didn't show everything that they have planned in the trailer they could have just showed a small portion of it and there could be more that we don't know of but that's mainly it for all the comments there's no reworks in the comments just one evolution moving on to the rares so one of the rework characters that were shown in the in that section of the video or trailer Okay, post any tags here, so I'm just here to clarify. You could also skip this if you already understand, but here to clarify that what I mean by reworks is this section of the trailer. So they just mentioned which characters are getting reworked with their passives, leader skills, and all that change. So that's it for me. See ya. Is Amelia or Half Elf. So you don't have to worry about Amelia getting another Evo. It is just only a rework on her passive probably or manual ability so that's mainly it for amelia she could be a replacement for my speculation could just be a replacement for rukia but that's just my speculation and then there's only two evos coming out that are rares we have last master from fate so he could possibly be a duo unit with shielder so prepare damage for both him and shielder speculating for him i would just get the damage requirement for plus for a rare plus plus that i speculated for and then for mesh you can't really damage farm with her unfortunately so probably just like 500 million for mash or slash shielder i would just be safe like that's like a safe amount or bare minimum even but if you want to be safe just try to get 1 billion of healing which would be crazy but i don't know and then the last character in the rare section that is getting evolution is natsu so looking at the leaks he is a confirmed plus plus evolution and looking through the trailer he was shown twice in the trailer looking back at it yeah looking back at it he was shown twice in the trailer so he is a confirmed plus plus at the damage marks that i've shown before at the start of the video i would try to go for that if you want to go way beyond that you're just being extra cautious nothing wrong with that moving on Okay, so editor me back again. So just here to say that I forgot to include one more rare character, which is rare Ichigo. So here's the infograph for him and he is getting a plus plus. Pretty sure, 90% sure, but that's just my speculation. All right, see ya. On to the SRs. We have the rework characters being Hilla. Probably not reworked. I think they're just adding his manual ability finally that they've promised way, way back. Kakashi, which would be interesting. So Kakashi is possibly getting either a passive change, leader skill probably change, or a rework. I don't think he's getting an Evo because the section that he appeared in was the rework section. Rework slash buff section. And then for the evolutions in the SR section, which we have is Shiro, the normal Shiro, not MR Shiro. SR Shiro, which possibly could be a plus plus since my speculation is that his plus is a duo character with Saber and then his plus plus is where he gets unlimited blade works. So for the damage mark for that, as you guys saw in the beginning, try to aim for those damage numbers for every single one of these characters corresponding to their rarity. But that's just my aspect or my opinions on that right now so or my speculations to be exact on that uryu is a confirmed plus plus surprisingly i thought they were only going to do a plus on him but hey another character to grind but as of right now just follow the damage 
predictions or damage benchmarks that you want to go for for each character that's mainly it so for Uri, you just try to aim for that and then one of the last characters that was shown way way back which was tanjiro so tanjiro i'm assuming he's only getting a plus could get a plus plus could but assuming so i'm just going to say he's probably only getting a plus so still aim for the plus plus damage mark for those for these characters just in case besides like LRs and stuff, LRs and MRs. But mainly for the three rarities I mentioned, just aim for those damage marks for each one of those characters, just to be safe. You could go more just to be extra cautious, but that's mainly it for the SR section. Now moving on. Another oopsies by me, of course, but um, I forgot to put Arthur in here. So here's his infograph and hopefully this is the last of me, hopefully as of editing this right now and to the urs now there's a lot here there, there's a lot of urs so starting off with the undead unlock characters i'm assuming so they're going to probably be a duo unit if they are going to get a plus plus so respectively try to aim for the damage marks for both of them just in case because they might become a duo character itadori is the next character so he is pretty easy to get damage for but i would still aim for the damage marks again as always you could go more as well but just to be safe try to get that damage mark and then another character that's getting an evo is Kisuke, shown a while back and guaranteed to be a plus plus. Try to aim for the damage mark as always, being another character. I think another major character that is a variable and could easily become the highest like damage required character is probably Saint Seiya or Pegasus Knight. So he is a cosmic character and cosmic is a very high scaling passive or a high scaling dot. So getting damage on him is extremely easy, but at the same time, I don't know what his actual damage requirement will be. Probably just do one run of random unit with him and you'll probably have enough, way more than enough damage for him since he is very he does have cosmic which is a very high scaling passive but that's mainly it for pegasus knight i also forgot to mention for people who don't know how to get kisuke you can get him from soul banner which is the hourly banner reset thing so wait for him to ever pop up he pops up i do recommend getting him and i think one of the most hype characters after kisuke is guts sadly guts is not getting his plus plus from the looks of from the looks of it he's only getting the gun arm or arm cannon for his plus so you could grind for his plus plus damage in the future when they release a berserk update but he is only getting a plus unless they do a plus plus and they make an mr guts that is his berserk armor but i don't think they'll do that i hope they don't do that but it'll just be weird but assuming so guts is going to probably be a plus i think the next character on the list would be gt goku so from the latest sneaks is and the trailer it is obvious that he is getting a plus plus there's no doubt about it like absolutely no doubt about it so honestly save just get that damage mark for gt goku he's probably going to be a great character and hopefully the first ever dragon orb hunter leader hopefully because that team does not have a leader right now i think that is mostly it for the urs if i forgot anything editor me will just pop in and just say something but that's mainly it for the urs i don't think there's any reworks for any of the urs in this section as well i think the reworks that we mainly know of are from the sr and rare section and then moving on to the secret rares which is pretty obvious who it is it is pinky i don't think any other character is getting a plus plus in this section i think pinky is the only one i didn't i'm probably not going to be showing the secret rare like damage mark because it could vary depending on the character for pinky she is dated she is a very dated character a very dated tamer to be exact because get to replace her in my opinion try to aim for 200 billion plus 200 like 150 to 200 billion between those values for her damage and you should be good for for the damage on the update hopefully and that's mainly it i don't think any secret rares are getting reworked from what i remember so that should be it moving on to the lrs so for the evolutions we have ghetto and Dio being the big ones. I don't think there's any other LR pluses coming out, but taking reference from Boros, who was 120 billion, they could go more, 
but taking reference from those you could go for 80 to 120 billion just to be safe you could go more but just taking reference from previous lr pluses you could just go for those damage marks and be done with them i think the biggest rework character in the lr plus like there's a lot more in this lr section but the biggest one to mention is gojo so he's not getting a plus plus he is getting a rework. I guess if you guys pay attention to the trailer, actually, I'll show you guys the clip. Mata, Kitai ni kotae rare na katta bubun o motsu, category team no balance o oki to chosei shimashita. Oku no unit no status ya passive mo zenmen teki ni minao shimashita. So, mainly, Gojo's getting a rework, which is Shibuya Gojo. It's probably a rework for his manual ability being his time stop, and then a character redesign. So, that's mainly it for Gojo. And there's nothing really else like major to mention about the LR section. So moving on to the last section, which is only just changes reworks to the character. The big ones being Vegito getting a complete rework, or like a complete, complete rework. I don't think he's getting an evolution. If he does get an evolution, that'll be weird. But if he does, and if you guys want a damage farm for that, just go for like 300 to 500 billion damage just to be safe but Vegito and Sid being the massive characters getting the change like getting a reorg or change to their passive and that's mainly it for like the mo majority like major like the important things I think the last character I can talk about is Shinji from EVA who is getting pro probably getting a passive change like, I don't think his leader skills getting changed or anything like that. I think he's just getting a passive change from raise attack to rage. Which would help him for, like, infinite content. So, and he's a good character in general, too. So, he's not bad at all. But yeah, that's mainly it for all the characters that I can really think of. So, enjoy the rest of the gameplay.